Hey, you will catch a cold in there. Fine. Why don't you sleep? No, if you don't come over here, I'm coming over there, okay? Huh? Nanakuma! I was at a matching party today since friend of mine invited me here quite forcefully. To be honest, I'm not the type of person who can make a girlfriend at a matching party. So I was filled with a desire to leave early. According to my friend, today's participants are all top quality. I mean, it's true that at the first glance, all three of them are different type, but they are the kind of people I'd be proud of have as my girlfriend. But there was one person who looked strangely familiar to me. She is very pretty, but it didn't seem like the first time I'd seen her. Nice to meet you. My name is Miyuki Kasuga. I'm a nurse. I broke up with my boyfriend last month, so I want to be healed. Wait. Miyuki? Kasuga? While I was distracted by the name I felt like I'd heard before, the party which was full of nervousness at the beginning turned out some sort of friendly drinking party without noticing. To be honest, since I didn't want to get too involved, I was enjoying the drinks and food at the edge while trying not to be outstanding. Then, before I realized it, Miyuki Kasuga was sitting next to me and started talking to me. Hey you! You went to Nishi Elementary School, didn't you? What? Um... I got panicked from the sudden question. I did indeed go to Nishi Elementary School. But I was too drunk to understand how she knew about it. My head was just in turmoil. It's me, Miyuki. You don't remember me? I recognized you right away just by looking at your face, though. I'm sad. I feel like there was a girl with that kind of name. I put my brain into full gear and tried to picture the girl vaguely. Hmm, I'm sorry, but I don't remember. No way! I was such a good friend to you. So, you don't even remember what I did to you? What you did to me? We used to play tag, right? Also, finding an item game. Tag, finding an item game. When she said that, what had been abstract became clearly outlined and I remembered. Wait. Is this some sort of joke? Oh, you remember now? We had so much fun back in that time. Seeing Kasuga's smiling face, I felt the blood drain from my face. Yes, she was the classmate I hated in elementary school. When I was in the third grade, Kasuga and I were in the same class for the first time. For some reason, this woman had always been mean to me. What she calls tag is... I guess it means that time she chased me with a caterpillar on the edge of a wooden stick. I didn't like bugs at all, so I'd run around half crying, and she used to make fun of me for it. What she calls finding an item game is I guess it means that time she hid my personal belongings somewhere in school, and laughed at me all the way until I found it. Kasuga was what people call a bully, and her target was me. What do you mean by, we had so much fun back in that time? I wasn't having any fun at all. And I'm in the worst mood right now remembering it even though I'd forgotten. That's when you need the power of alcohol. Besides, that was over a decade ago. I'm sorry I raked over your old ashes. But I'm growing up too. Even if that's the case, I never wanted to see you again. Hey, that's also a dark past for me. To be honest, I didn't want to see you too, crybaby Masato-kun. Perhaps it was because of the alcohol, but Kasuga looked miffed with a blush on her cheeks. Come on, she was the one who started this conversation, and now she gets mad at me? By the way, you came to a matching party. Why don't you talk to other guys instead of talking to me? Oh, that's right. I need to find a potential boyfriend. After saying that, Kasuga returned to her friends and I was finally released. My mood was rock bottom as the memories of the sparse life I had just forgotten came flooding back to me. Not that I listened to Kasuga, but I increased the speed of drinking a little. The party seemed to be even more exciting than we had expected, and we ended up going to the after party. I wanted to go home but I was taken out by force again, and I'm not the type of person who can say no, so I ended up going with them. The after party was in the bar nearby. We sat at the counter, men and women side by side. Of course, I kept the end of the line which was dimly lit. But for some reason, Kasuga was sitting next to me again. 
She seemed having a good time with her friends who were on the other side, so I decided not to talk to her. I was just drinking quietly. Alright, it's getting late so let's split here. It was so much fun. My friend said to everyone like so after leaving the bar. I thought I could finally be completely free, so I was feeling relaxed. But I saw a group of women at the front of the bar looking confused. My friend went to talk to them, and we figured out that it seemed Kasugo had gotten drunk and passed out. I thought her friends could take care of that kind of stuff, but when I was about to leave, my friend grabbed my arm. Miyuki-chan is your childhood friend, right? Let her stay over at your place. Your house is close to here, right? What? You're right, but I think letting her stay at my place is not a good idea. Probably she doesn't like me, and I don't like her either. While I was thinking how to reject... Kasuga's head was already on my shoulder without realizing. Okay, call me if anything happens. And of course, in case if something good happens as well. Oh, hey! Everyone took a cab and quickly dispersed. I was left behind and couldn't leave Kasuga by the side of the road, so I had no choice but to take her home with me. How could this happen? Hey, pull yourself together. I can't unlock the door! I managed to get back home, but Kasuga was drunk and didn't try to stand by herself. Aren't you happy to be touched by such a beautiful woman? Okay, okay, whatever. Just stand by yourself. No, I want to touch you more. <laughs> hey, stop! Gosh, okay, we are going inside. I couldn't shake off Kasuga who kept hugging me, and I managed to drag her inside. We both fell down by tripping over the step in the doorway. Ouch, be careful. Shut up. You should have walked just normally. I got up quickly on my own, and Kasuga suddenly started to cling to me. I can't take off my shoes. Give me a hand. Are you a kid? Hey, please. Um, come on. Hold on. Mm. People say dealing with drunks is tiring, but Kasuga might be a particularly tiring one. At that moment, her legs which I can see through her short skirt look strangely beautiful and sexy. My heart skipped a beat. But I pretended not to notice that. After I took off her shoes, I dragged Kasuga to the back of the room. I took a bottle of water from the refrigerator and handed it to her. Here, drink some water. It'll sober you up. Thank you. Anyway, the power of alcohol is scary. Her personality is totally different from when we were at the party. Your room is quite a drab place. I mean, I don't have any issue with this. People often hide nasty things under the bed or something, but this room doesn't seem to have anything like that. Stop it, drunk. I'm not really interested in that kind of stuff. Oh, so you've never had a girlfriend? Don't, don't mind my business. I got upset unintentionally in order to deceiving her, and then Kasuga started to stare and grin at me. Ooh, I see. Got it. I, I really wasn't interested. I haven't even had someone I wanted to go out on a date, so I figured I didn't have to push myself about it so hard. I was talking to patch things up for the moment, but the more I talked, the more I felt like I was digging my own grave, and I could feel my face was turning red. Your face is so red. That's cute. I knew she was just playing with me, but somehow, Kasuga smiling with her cheekbones looked pretty cute, and my heart was pounding loudly. It's not a big deal. Here, I'll let you borrow some of my clothes, so go take a shower. Uh, I don't want to do that. At least take off your makeup. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll go take a shower quick. If I faint, please take care of me. Just go. I put some shirt, half pants, and a bath towel in the changing room for her. She was taking a shower without any precautions, which made me feel a little complicated. But I just decided not to take care that much. Just took a shower. Thanks. Kasuga, after the shower, looked strangely gorgeous, and I could feel my heart beating faster. <laughs> Calm down, me. She is a bully, Kasuga. Don't let myself confused by the temporary emotions. I'm going too. I'm trying to calm my mind while taking a shower, but the worldly thought doesn't really seem to go away. Damn it. She looks too good. I know I was the one who picked the clothes, though. While my heart was pounding loudly, Plus my restless thoughts. I managed to get dressed, take a deep breath, and head back to my room. 
You took time, huh? Gosh, she is too unprotected. It's pretty late. Let's get to bed. Come over here and sleep with me. You, you idiot. No way. I sleep on the floor. <laughs> it's easy to notice you are blushing. I turned off the light and laid down on the floor while Kasuga rolled around laughing. Hey, you will catch a cold in there. It's fine. Why don't you sleep? No. If you don't come over here, I'm coming over there, okay? Huh? I thought I misheard and tried to ask her what she said again, but Kasuga got off the bed and laid down beside me. What? 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 Why? I said you would catch a cold, right? I'm using a blanket, so I should be fine. Um. Oh, hey, what happened? No, nothing. What? What's that? You got something to say, right? You know, I just wondered why. What? Don't answer a question with a question. My bad. I didn't mean it, though. Then what? Why don't you take my bait? Me? Bait? I got even more confused as I felt a little strength in her hand holding me. Why? 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 Why are you doing this? Don't you understand unless I tell you? I mean, tell what? I have no idea what she wants to say. The area she is touching is just hot. My heart was pounding loudly, which made me worried what if Kasuga could notice it. At the same time, I felt like my head was going to explode. I've always liked Masato, you know. Then it did. Hey, are you listening? She is just kidding. I, the calm one, am reacting that way. But I, the naive one, am drawing it out while my body gets hot. I can't think straight. Hey, are you okay? Yes, I mean, not really. Have some water and calm down. I started to drink the water Kasuga passed me after raising my body, but... Oh, that was mine. Gosh! Sorry, it's not on purpose. Still, a sip of water made me calm down. Come on, get it together. I said sorry. By the way, your face is so red. What, are you getting drunk now? I don't know if she is playing or serious. As far as I can see, she is probably serious. I'm not drunk. It's because of you. How dare you playing with me who has such a pure heart? Wait, what? I don't understand. Perhaps she was truly serious, since she is not understanding what I meant. You know, those things you did, like sleeping next to me, hugging me, and even confessing your feelings to me. Oh, I see. Playing with you? Then why did you do those things? Even the confessing? It's a sort of penalty game, right? Why are you saying like that? I can't believe you. Of course I think this way. Hey, remember what happened in the past? You were harassing me, and then now you are confessing your feelings to me? How could anyone take you seriously? When I finished my sentence and looked up Kasuga, she was spilling a single tear. Wait, why? I have no idea why she is crying, and again, I'm about to panic. Yeah, right. I almost forgot you hate me. Oh, I mean... I really meant what I said earlier. Actually, I was so happy to see you today. What? When I was in elementary school, I had a crush on Masato. But you know my personality, right? I couldn't be honest with you. And I ended up harassing you. I just wanted to keep in touch with you as much as I could. Oh, like the common elementary school boys approach that the more they like a girl, the more they bully her? Yes, exactly. Really? I said it as a joke, but my face grins at her unexpected reaction. I wanted to be nice to you, actually, you know? I just wanted to talk to you normally and have fun talking about random topics. I wanted to be friendly. But I was too embarrassed to do anything but that harassing stuff. Still, there is a limit. That's kinda cute. Huh? Shit. What I'm thinking and what I'm saying are reversed. Oh no, nothing. What? Say that again? It's not a big deal. Yes it is. It damages my mental... Come on. Because, you know, I still can't quite believe it. You said you like me. But it's past tense. It doesn't mean you still like me now, right? I say everything I can think of to patch things up for the moment. I mean... See? I knew it. At the moment I felt relieved, 
Kasuga's face came close to my eyes. What? What? I like you. <laughs> hmm? You still don't believe? It was super soft. Wait, no! I know this is not such a big deal to you. Why don't you believe me? You don't understand how much my heart is pounding so hard now. Kasuga took my left hand and forced it foot on her chest. Wait! The heart under her chest where I'm touching is thumping and beating really fast. Kasuga is looking away, perhaps because she is embarrassed, but she also seems to be shaking a little, while making even the back of her neck red. Now you believe me? It's true that I've had boyfriends in the past, but I've never forgotten Masato. I always kept my mind that one day when I see you, I show you I've become a better woman. But it didn't work out. All I could do was say things you wouldn't like. Probably she is being honest. I was flattered, but I felt strange as well seeing Kasuga seriously telling me her thought. What is this lovely creature? I want to hold her and love her so much. I felt dizzy because my heart was beating so fast. Such thoughts ran through my head. What's wrong? Oh my god, you are very cute. You like me? Don't get carried away. Sad. But I feel like coming to like you. Wow, really? I hate to admit it, but yes. Then, do you want to try to go on a date with me? I mean, if it's trial? Yay! Wow! I'll make you fall in love with me for sure. You are gonna see how long I've been liking you. The way she says with a confident smile on her face now looks so cute. I'm excited. <laughs> Leave it to me. That's how we ended up going on a trial date. It is another story that I intentionally keep teasing Kasuga without telling the fact how much I'm attracted to her, who keeps tempting me in multiple ways.